Here I will briefly discuss this paper, describe, explain, plan, and select. First thing to mention is that this is a high-level planner based on large language models. The low-level controller is a separate paper, Open World Multitask Control. These two works have GitHub repositories. One is Minecraft Planner, which corresponds to the paper Describe, Explain, Plan, and Select. And the th second one is Controller, which corresponds to the second paper. So the planner is based on GPT-3, large language model, and the planning is based only on text. The visual scene representation is not directly influencing the planning procedure. Well, let's take a look how the planning is actually happening. The task is a text input, for example, mine a diamond from scratch. Here in this appendix H, full interactive prompting process with LLM to finish the task obtain diamond. The text about craft stone sport is a demonstration in the prompt. That means that the LLM is first provided with an example of dialogue. So the LLM that they used in this study has a capacity of about 8,000 tokens, which is enough for about two pages of text. And these two pages of text of an example of interaction between agent and LLM is provided by authors. And this example guides the LLM model how to extend the given text. So after each interaction with the LLM, the text has been appended with LLM response and the process of interaction with LLM repeats recursively, each time appending new lines to the given example text. So let's take a closer look at what is provided in this text example and what the LLM planner is expected to output. So first, we have a command from human how to obtain iron pickaxe. And the LLM model generate a function from line 3 to line 7, obtain iron pickaxe, inventory empty, and the next three lines, mine, smelt, and craft, is a sequential plan how to obtain iron pickaxe. So the LLM actually generates these commands. So first is mine, action 1, mine 1 iron ore without tool. Next action in the plan is smelt. That means action 2, smelt 1 iron ingot from 1 iron ore with furnace. And that's the function for that. Next action 3 is craft 1 iron pickaxe from 3 iron ingot and 2 stick. And then return iron pickaxe. So these three commands are being actually parsed into controller, where the controller for mine is a neural network-based controller, explained in the second paper. Smelt is a scripted action, and I will refer to the code implementation later. And craft is an API command, which takes just a single action, because in this code implementation, they use mine Dojo API. The agent proceeds with execution of command mine, but a script checker returns a failure because mine iron ore need to use the two stone pickaxe, but the inventory does not contain stone pickaxe. The LLM takes input the initial goal, the provided plan, the auto-generated failure message, the inventory description of the agent, the AI description of the problem, and then the LLM model generates an updated plan. So what we can see here that in line 15 to 17, we have the same commands as in lines from 4 to 6, but with one additional command at the beginning, namely craft stone pickaxe from three cobblestone and two stick using crafting table. Basically what happened is that given all this information, the LLM generated a new function, def obtain iron pickaxe, with one more action sub call in this plan. And later on, this process repeats iteratively until there is no conflict in the chain of sub goals. And then the agent can report success in given steps. But even though the first three commands were executed successfully, the agent encounters one more inconsistency again at step mine cobblestone, and the process repeats by adding one more intermediate sub goal before mining cobblestone. So that's the way how this planner works. As you can see, this planner has no interaction with any visuals, but it interacts with the environment and internal checking functions. 
And in case of failure, the LLM updates the sequence of lines to execute or the sequence of sub goals and a pre-trained policy or scripted actions execute these sub goals. So now let's take a look into details how each component works. 